In this video, I'm gonna show you how to sew a flat filled seam. So for the denim jacket, you'll notice up here we have the back pieces. So we have these cut with the black lines, which, give, which gives us a 3 8 inch seam allowance to do a flat filled seam. So that is going to be on the seam line running up the sides as well as where the yoke connects to the lower portion of the bottom of the jacket. So let's practice this a little bit. Here's what I recommend. Take some fabric and you can use any type of fabric. You can use the denim that you want to sew on or just some scraps to really just get comfortable with the technique. So in front of me right here I have a couple rectangles cut out and this seam line right here down the middle is what I'm going to be working on. So to sew a flat felled seam, we are gonna take the two pieces and put them wrong sides together. We'll line up this seam line and then I'm going to sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance straight down the length of this seam. Okay, so here we have that seam line stitched and like I said, these are wrong sides together. So I'm going to come in and trim out this top section of the seam allowance pretty close to the stitching line. So you just want to slide your scissors under there and kind of tilt them up a little bit and you can cut that right up along that stitch line just cutting through that top layer. So that has reduced the bulk inside there. So now when I open up those two pieces, this seam is going to fold over the front. So you'll see that first row of stitching and this edge is going to fold under to create the felled seam and then on the inside it's simply folded and tucked inside. So to do that we need to press under this other seam allowance edge. So what I'm going to do is just fold this in halfway so that it is folded in right up inside that seam allowance but not overlapping the part that I've just trimmed down to. So I will just press this down. So I have this pressed now inside. So this is my cut edge and this is pressed. Then I'm going to fold this over and just press this down. So you can press that with steam that would help hold it. This is also another great place to use something like the quilter's tape that would help hold this down really firmly. And then you can do your top stitching. So for this example, we will actually just push this back open. Take this, which is just 1 8 and I'm gonna put this right on top of that first stitching line right next to the edge that I've trimmed back to. So I've pressed this down securely and then you're just gonna wanna peel off that paper backing. And then as we push this open, now I can just finger press this down nice and flat with that edge that has already been pressed under. And then I have that sticky residue right there and that really helps hold that down. And that is the start to the faux felled seam. And you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to which direction you want your seams to be folded over. So whether you want your seam allowance to be underneath this center back or pushed towards the side backs. In this case, we would have felled in the opposite direction so that we have the finished edge of that seam allowance to the outside. So this would be the side back and this would be the center back. And then for the opposite side, it would go the opposite direction so that you have that folded edge of the seam on the outside of the jacket right here along the side back. All right, so now we're back at the machine and I'm just gonna show you both ways. If we use a standard presser foot and edge stitch right along this folded line, and then I'll switch over to the edge stitch foot just so you can see how that works. So I'm gonna place this under here and I have this fold line on this presser foot just lined up with the interior cutout right here. That's what I'm gonna use to guide my stitching. So you can see that it's actually pretty straight. I have a nice even line that wasn't that 
um, lumpy or hard to sew straight on, especially because it was a straight seam line. So that's how that would look on the outside of the jacket. And then on the inside, you can see we have a very clean finished interior seam. And then here I am at the machine now with the edge stitch foot installed. So you can see that metal bar in the front. I have the needle here. It's one push over from the very center. So it'll stitch just to the inside of the fold. I'm gonna lower the presser foot so that the guide is sliding along the outside edge of this fold. And then the needle is gonna stitch just to the inside of that. So I'm just gonna run that along the stitching line. And again, I'm just guiding it with what I'm looking at in the front. I don't really have to be monitoring the needle on the back side. And then there you can see that nice, consistent, straight stitch line right on the fold. Now what I really like about this is how close you can really get to the edge. So that is very straight, it looks really nice, and it's right on that fold line. So that stitches down and looks really authentic and really even. Now you can play around with your needle placement to determine how close together these stitch lines appear on your garment. If you wanna to try to cut this down a little bit, you could trim down your seam allowance, but again, it's harder to fold that under the narrower that gets. And then here's the inside view of that one as well. Very clean, folded under edge on the interior side of the garment. 